Marshall was right about you. Keep my eye on you. Nice try. But when I don't want to be seen, I'm like an Ashta in the night. In my line of work, you have to be. See, I work for the Freestar Rangers. I'm the first ever Ranger Surveillance Assistant. And that's not some dumb made up title. Ranger Emma Wilcox gave it to me, so it's official. That's right, she's a senior ranger, which means she's in charge of me and all the other rangers. Well, except Diego, because he's a senior ranger too. Oh, and the marshal, he's in charge of all the rangers. I watch people and listen to them. If I hear something about smuggling, or Aurora, or gangs, I tell the rangers. It's easy, because no one pays attention to kids. Plus, I know a lot of good hiding places all over the city. I'm the best ranger surveillance assistant that ever lived. Someday, I'll teach other kids the tricks of the trade. Then prepare the next generation, because I won't be here forever. So what's it gonna be? Are you gonna be a law-abiding citizen? Or are you gonna be on my list? My list of people who might be troublemakers, so I have to watch them extra close. You don't wanna be on my list. I had a feeling you say that. It's that look in your eye that says, I don't care about the law. Well, if I was you, I'd watch my step around here. Because this Aquila City is under the protection of the Free Star Rangers. Ain't no lawbreaker who can get away from them. Once the Rangers are after you, you're as good as got. Don't say you ain't been warned. Aquila City is just crawling with crime. It's everywhere. And it's up to us Rangers to do something about it. And Ranger Surveillance Assistant. Someone's stealing guns and stuff from the Raid Alarms. And none of the adults believe us. So we're hoping, you know, you can help us break it all open. Emily was right about you. I was doing my Ranger Patrol one day. And there was a suspicious character casing Laredo arms. I watched him as long as I could, but I had to rush home for bedtime. First thing in the morning, I came back and interrogated Justin Smith. And he said they were tracking down an inventory discrepancy. I told him about the suspicious stranger, but Mr. Sneed didn't believe me. anything, but the suspect was acting all sorts of funny. He was trying to make sure no one could see him. My mom says you have to listen to your gut in this business. I just know he's a thief. Exactly! This case was too big for just one ranger, so I deputized Emily. I'm an assistant ranger surveillance assistant. Or, um, something like that. And we found out that the thief breaks in most nights. But like, really late. He's got his own key card. We just need to catch him. Security will believe you. You're doing Aquila City a big service. Best I figure, he's there around midnight. You need to wait for him to exit Laredo, 
then catch him red-handed. We need to bring him to justice. I, uh, yeah? I, I won't. Oh, God, this can be happening. Oh, God, no, security. I'm so screwed. Don't anybody move. Let's see. <laughs> if it ain't the hero of Galbank. And who do we have here? Looks like you're carrying a lot of weapons for a nighttime stroll. I... I... Well, I give up. Smart move. I got a tip something was going down tonight. Was little Annie actually right about all this? I kind of always thought she was a pest. Now, I got her from here. Aquila City owes you again. And, uh, thank Annie for me. Dear God, she's never gonna let us hear the end of this. Getting a scrape, best comes to Some days it feels like if I stop stitching people. Okay, let's see how bad it is. Good news is I've seen worse. Bad news is not many. Hold still now. I won't lie, this is gonna hurt like hell. Guess we're about to find out how hard-blooded you are. All right, you're good to go. Here's what I've got on hand. I got a feeling this ain't the last I'll see of you. You did good, Alice. <gasps> did you catch the thief? Tell me it worked. Annie, what are you doing up? It's way past your bedtime. Mom, I have to know. You've got him, right? Right? I knew it! Annie L. Wilcox, what did you do? I, I told you about it. You know the Laredo robberies? Well, we caught the thief. Wait, so that's real? Of course, Mom. I told you. I, um, she's telling the truth. You're not pulling my leg, right? Well, Andy's been giving me reports on her patrols for years. This is the first time anything, well, real may have come of it. I, oh boy, I... Annie, we'll talk more about this later. But I'm proud of you. But you've got to be careful. Yes, Mom. I'm gonna be the best ranger surveillance assistant ever. Thank you for helping my girl and anything else involved. Take this. Lord preserve me. Aquila City is safe because of my mom and me. Oh, and the other rangers. New 
deputy. What's inside the human body is That's gross. Really gross. Good to meet you, friend. Name's Elias Cartwright. I'm the mayor of Aquila City. Now, I've got a memory for faces, and I can't say I've seen yours around here before. I make it a point to introduce myself to everyone who passes through our fine city. As the founder himself once said, there's no substitute for a warm welcome and a friendly smile. You're more than welcome. As I'm sure you know, us folk in the Free Star Collective put great stock in human kindness and generosity of spirit. I like to think that's what sets us apart from our neighbors in the United Colonies. We don't rely on machines or bureaucracy. We rely on each other. I won't pry about what brought you here. That's all of your business and none of mine. However, I'd be more than happy to give you the scoop about the core and Midtown. The core is the oldest district and represents the original settlement dating back to the days of Solomon Co. The descendants of the original settlers still make their home there today. Frank's just the latest owner of the old Hersenove Manor, and he's the worst, simply the worst. But it's been a problem since the Hosono family ran out of heirs. There's a no wrong the Cartwrights have been trying to write for decades. And hence, well, I need help. He's just another slick, rude, neon corporate hack. Full of himself and just awful. I mean, the core is history itself. Cads like him don't belong here. I was right to talk to you about this. The last Hossanov was Sahar. Sad tale there. <sighs> By all accounts, when she lost her last grandchild around 40 years ago, well, it broke her. She packed up and just plain left the estate, built some farm far from Aquila City and the protection of its walls. It didn't take long before the Ashta overran the farm, and just like that, no more Hossanovs. A lot of folks thought the same. So I need someone to go to the old Sahar farm, brave the Ashta, and see if she left a will. I swear I'll honor her wishes. Akila owes her family that much. And if it happens to kick Mr. Big Shot out of the core, well, that'll be a bonus. Sahar left no heirs, no instructions. So everything the Hassanovs owned was in limbo. What happened to the estate? Well, you'd have to be a lawyer to make heads or tails of it. But eventually it wound up on the open market, so slick neon corporate shills could grace our community. If she named any heir, we could get the estate back where it belongs. See things made right. You are a blessing. Sahar's farm is elsewhere on the planet. If you can't handle Ashta, please just don't go. I don't want this whole sordid story to have more tragedy. Be careful, and look out for yourself. Like I said, yep. 
He used to be an actuary. Now... a pleasant change of scenery.
You should ask Sam about Akina sometime. He has some pretty amazing stories to tell. City is lucky that Hope Tech still deals with them after the reception I've gotten. I come here offering business, employment opportunities, and they practically spit in my face. I'm a senior vice president. Cut my teeth with mineral acquisitions for some of the pricier things we need for the ships. I was really, really looking forward to having my own region to manage. But now... Me? I did something wrong. Let me explain. So Ron Hope assigns me to Aquila City. And I'm excited, right? Could be a plum assignment. But I need a place to sleep here. So I bought some prime real estate for me and my girl. And ah, damn it, you'd think I plowed through a sacred burial site. Listen. I'm not the one selling some priceless historical manor. That's not on me. That's just the thing, isn't it? It's not really. All the manors on the core were built by the founders. But this isn't some sort of sacred ground, right? It's just housing. And the owners before, some nobody third tier family. <laughs> but it's the core. <laughs> like I care. And give them the satisfaction? <laughs> Never! Thanks for hearing me out. Hope you have a better day than I've had. Who the who? Wait, wait. Hasanov? You mean the family that owned this manor? Oh, hell. Elias Cartwright. That man's always had it out for me. My credits are as good as anyone else around here. I got a business proposition. 10,000 credits, and I take that alleged will off your hands. No questions asked. I paid good money to live here, and they're the ones trying to cheat me. If you start seeing sense, the offer is open. <laughs> so you sold three pickups today? Yeah. Might get some more on the back end. <laughs> Your casserole sealed the deal. Uh, don't you need to wait for the contract to be signed? <laughs> this ain't the UC. We shook hands and the deal's done. Should have the contract signed tomorrow. My cousin works for Deimos, and he's... the approval process for a big deal can take months. That's life under the boot for you. 
I don't suppose you still have that. Have you reconsidered my offer? 10,000? You're a smart one. If you can just tell Elias or whoever that you didn't find anything, I'd be very thankful. I really like it here. I just wish. Hasanov's never sat right. Ah, hell. Pardon the language. I knew it was a long shot. Well, you risked your neck, and I couldn't let you go away empty-handed. Thank you.